Mmm, it's great, honestly. Hello, it is Sunday afternoon. And I've been such a good girl this week. I have barely eaten any carbs. So I was like, you know what? I deserve a treat. So I found this recipe on a keto lemon cheesecake smoothie. And I was like, Bruh. I need to try this right now. So I literally went to Whole Foods, bought all the ingredients. And I was like, why not try this together? So welcome to my kitchen. Let's go over the ingredients and get into this. All right. So a fourth cup heavy whipping cream again i'm using this brand from whole foods sky top organics and it is delicious i highly recommend it it's more farm to table than the other brands so one fourth it's pretty much almost all of it let me see here next up three fourth cup cold water so I just put some water with ice in this cup. It's about three fourths. Okay, that seems like a lot of liquid already, but I'm just following the instructions here. Next up, we have two tablespoons lemon juice. It's a juicy one. Wow, I like spilt half of the juice on the table. It is also asking for a teaspoon of lemon zest and I don't have one of those graters. So I'm just gonna use this to peel the lemon and then I'm gonna just chop it up into little pieces. There she is and I'm just gonna chop it up with a knife. I mean, I'm sure the blender will also blend it up more. Next is going to be a fourth cup cream cheese, but the cream cheese is marked, so I'm doing two ounces, so it's very bright, but I'm just going to do like a little sliver of cream cheese, two ounces. You could check here um, how much cream cheese you're using. Recipe also calls for two tablespoons monk fruit sweetener. Now this is great because it will still make the smoothie keto. I don't know how I feel about monk fruit, so I'm gonna start with one tablespoon and then if it needs another one, I'll put that in later. Two tablespoons of collagen peptides. This is the brand I use and I love this brand. It is grass fed and pasture raised. Very high quality. I've been using it for about a year now. Highly recommend. I'll leave the link down below. I get it on Amazon. So one to two drops vanilla extract. I don't know what a drop means. Like how much is a drop supposed to be? I have no idea but we're just gonna throw in a little bit. This is the vanilla I got from Whole Foods. It has no, it doesn't have alcohol in it. Some of them do. I don't know what that means. I feel like it's a little sus. So I went for the ones without alcohol. They also cost more. All right, the ingredients are in. Don't forget to put the cap on. like cheesecake I think it does need more stevia maybe a little bit more cream cheese it tastes a bit watery like I feel like I shouldn't have put that much water all right so I ended up putting another tablespoon of monk fruit and a little bit more cream cheese mmm 
it's great honestly it's actually it seems like it will be heavy because it's like cheesecake but it actually feels like a really light fun smoothie like dessert smoothie um i'll just say it's a little watery but i put in what the direction said but it's like way too watery and i don't think i want to put ice because the ice is just going to make it more watery so i think i'm just going to leave it like this But the flavor is there for sure. Mm, tastes good. Wow.